Hey guys, today we're going to bring you a modern masterpiece. This one's listed by Jamin Smith over at Keller Williams. Big thank you to him for letting us bring this to you. You're going to love every second of this one. Best lot in Kona. Aloha everybody. Mike Drutar, Principal Broker, Next Home Paradise Realty, bringing you another property tour. Today we are checking out a modern masterpiece here in Kona. Brand new construction with the best view in Kona. No lie guys, back before this house was built like six, eight years ago, when I was looking for a spot to come and just sort of chill out and take in the sunset, it was literally this lot. It sits out prominently here in Kona Vista's up off Laco Street. It is one of the most amazing views in all of Kona, sweeping from Keahoe all the way to the airport with shoreline views. Absolutely incredible, unobstructed, unobstructable shoreline views all the way across. It's amazing. So I'm going to show you the outside of the house, the inside of the house, the three favorite things I have about the house. And the one thing I can add or change, if I can even come up with something. I was in this house yesterday. It is spectacular. Um, and I'll be honest with you. If I could, I would buy it right now myself. Um, let's start with the fact that this lot has had a ton of site work on it to bring it to where it is because it has a lot of slope. That's why it has such a good view. Uh, and so they had to do a lot of engineering uh, on the rock wall work. So the rock wall work right around here looks great. Uh, there's more below the house that we won't see, but you'll be able to see the view. We have a gate up on top. We got this concrete down below, which is a uh, stained concrete. And it's shaped to look like the lava rock. I like that they did it actually you get down here really detailed. It's like as I'm, I'm barefoot, guys, and as I walk across here, it's not too rough to where it hurts your feet. Sometimes they get a little aggressive with it. This one they didn't. It's still walkable, which is really cool. And there is a ton of room to back out here. Sometimes, you know, they don't leave enough room. And in neighborhoods like this, where the garage door cannot point directly at the street, so when people drive by, they just don't see a neighborhood of garage doors. It's something that they do in some of the higher end neighborhoods. You do have to have room to turn around because of that design uh, requirement. So you have to have enough room to turn around. They've done a great job. You can see we got a stucco exterior. And with the modern look, we're going with the black standing seam metal roof. Fully guttered. You can see we got our chains as our downspouts here. Some people say, well, why do they do that? It disrupts the water as it comes down so it doesn't like leave a big hole down in the ground. Uh, so, so it sort of slows the water down. So that's why we see those in here. Look at that door. We'll go in there. That's like a five foot wide door. Incredible. We got the black on the light sconces going around. Our windows are black framed. So we're seeing that more and more. Very popular. We've even got stucco up here underneath on the eaves. They've done a great job with that. Nice curb appeal. We even got a little front yard area here right next to us. And then down on the side, they maintain keeping the concrete uh, texture here instead of just going to a regular concrete pad. I've seen that happen sometimes. So nice that they did that attention to detail. And hidden, so you can't see it, is the propane tank. That tells us that we might have gas inside, guys, which is always a good thing. Let's take a look inside and see what we got. Okay, guys, this is such a big door that I decided I had to show it being open to check it out. This thing is absolutely huge. Um, what I like about it is that it's going to allow for plenty of airflow. Oop, we just had another door closed because of all the great airflow that we have in here. Because we got pocket sliders going out to this incredible ocean view we got some clouds out there we did have a bit of rain come through uh last night i know you guys want to see the view so i'm going to take you right to it all the way out you'll see that we sit very prominently out here so you can see some white water there let's go zoom in a little bit okay that white water in the distance that's kahalu beach park and then to the left of that, you may be able to make out the Outrigger Hotel all the way over there in Keahoe. I mean, just an incredible sweeping view. I can see the bay where uh, Magic Sands Beach Park is. And then we got some waves here. That's Lyman's Bay. So you got the surf break there all the way across town into Kailua Bay, Kaivi Point. 
Honokohau Harbor, Honokohau National Historical Park, all the way to the airport out north. I mean, just incredible sweeping view. You are way high above your neighbors down below. And so even on mild days, you're gonna have nice airflow coming through here because it just sits up so high. Uh, the air kind of accelerates as it comes up the hill and you're going to be able to take advantage of that with wonderful, cool trade winds. Incredible. Right now there's an empty piece beside us that will have some future development. They're putting houses and apartments there on down the road. I think they asked for an extension, but I would say that's going to come at some point or another, but you're up above it. And boy, let's talk about this pool for a second. Infinity Edge on two sides. So we don't see that quite as much out here. Really, really nice. So, I mean, I kind of like it, like, especially from like here, it's just sitting out there, like with nothing else but the pool. Even if we come down lower, let me see if I can get the camera to work right. Wow, what do you think? It's like a big mirror, incredible. Loving this pool. Lots of Infinity Edge. Sometimes people will do just a slot of Infinity Edge. Um, very rare to see them do it all the way around on two sides. So, boy, there's so many things to talk about here. First, I think we got 18 by 36, maybe 30 inch tile. Looks great with gray grout lines, nice and tight. And then they've used that throughout the house and here at the pool. So they used it here on our pool coping. They use it down here on our sun deck inside the pool. They use it all the way around over here to this uh, fire feature. Don't have that turned on, but we got a fire feature there. Here's our basin, our catch for our infinity edge. Yeah, the water has to go somewhere, guys. Um, we got a gray plaster down below, blue tile going around the water line, also blue tile accents over here at the steps. And hidden feature is right here this line that you see here is actually a drain line so there's a drain underneath there they've got the, the pool coping tiled over here they got the deck cope uh, deck tile right to it so when water gets splashed out or when you have a driving rain it'll go down to that hidden drain i like that it's hidden instead of some big ugly drain there so that's nice attention to detail that we have on that infinity edge on the hot tub is pretty rare they got the hot tub set up in a u shape of course, because who's going to want to sit over there with their back to the ocean? You're going to want to sit here. Nighttime, it's going to be awesome. Like the city lights view. I mean, we're not a big city, but it's nice to have some city lights and stuff to look at at nighttime. Really, really cool. And then we got another fire feature over here. Got a little grass area. Softens things up a bit. And then they did a really nice job using the view rail style fencing. So you got the wires there. They just disappear. The whole fence line disappears. Uh, pavers going around to the side yard here and over to the uh, driveway there. And I like it, they just, they have ample pavers. Sometimes people space their pavers out or they get small pavers and it's hard to see um, or hard to, to step on and catch it. And here's our AC compressor. There is air conditioning inside the house. Got a water spigot over here, everything that you need. Then let's talk about the covered lanai here. I'm estimating, I think we're about 15 by 30 or so. So plenty of space out here. And like I said, they keep this same tile. We had it at our landing up front. We have it inside and then we have it outside. And so it just blends from outside to inside almost seamlessly. You have this little rail here for your pocket slider. Other than that, you have to take this into account. So I know like a lot of times people from the mainland, they come over and they're like, boy, boy the houses are a lot smaller. The square footage isn't as big. Sure. Um, but I'd also say this area here isn't part of the square footage of the house. Only that is. But you're going to live out here quite a bit. And that's something that you don't have on the mainland. Certainly, certainly not right around this time of year when things start getting cold for the next four months, depending on where you are. So you have to take that into account square footage and living area uh, for county tax purposes and you know for your building specs and all that it's one thing but you'll actually live out here a lot too so pretty good amount of stuff outside oh i almost forgot we're gonna have to walk back down here 
Sorry guys, bear with me. They do have a little built-in kitchen set up over here. We got a built-in grill, a little bit of storage with some drawers. We've got a refrigerator down here. We got some working space. So pretty nice setup here. I like it. With our propane, that gives us some flexibility on things that we can do. All right, let's go back into the main area of the house and start talking about the inside because there's still really a lot they did. I mentioned this is a modern masterpiece. You guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love these modern homes. They went with the black look and the black trim and accents around a lot. So coming back outside for a second, you know, we got our standing seam roof in black, got our garage door in black, we got our gutter in black, we have our trim in black, light sconces, all that kind of stuff. We have our windows in black. So it stands to reason that we're gonna maintain that look when we come inside. So here we have our ceiling treatment with black trim, black on our ceiling fans. You can see we got some lights there in the recess that really helps it glow up above. Let's check out the wall here for a second. Level five sheetrock it looks like to me. Really nice, 90 degree corners on the edges, five inch baseboards white absolutely perfect i mean they are really hitting it and then check out these lights really nice and modern looking they got them all around the house throughout so none of those you know six inch can lights that you see they've stepped it up here a little bit kind of like it we're looking at 10 foot ceilings in here plenty of space uh, that along with the ceiling treatment and the ceiling treatment that we have over there in the kitchen as well gives you a ton of area they have it set up this is how everyone's going to do it living room over here small dining area over here and of course your kitchen is built in but i'm willing to bet you that most of the time that's going to be where you're eating your in your dining area unless it's just a really hot afternoon or something i don't even know that people would use it that much so much so i might even go smaller and maybe change it up a little bit um, and have like a 12 person table out here this out here is big enough to do something like that i mean you have a ton of space so it just depends on how you'd want to live your life See, we got the, the black windows along with the black trim up here and everything, it really comes out looking good. Even if you're not a giant fan of black, it looks sharp. And then over here into the kitchen, wow. There's a lot to talk about here. So we've got our Carrera, I think that's the kind, quartz countertops. Looks good, oh wow. So, is that right? Here's a seam. I was like, there's got to be a seam somewhere. Little seam here, you barely even notice it. Uh, so you got one piece there, and then you got another piece there. And then they use that Carrera as the backsplash as well. So we're just keeping the same look all the way around. And then we have that on our waterfall on this side. Are we double waterfall? I think we are. Double waterfall on this island. Looks to be about 6 by 12. That is one piece on top, so that's a nice large piece of stone. And then seating for four, this is counter height, and then down below you can see we got some storage in there, really nice job on that. And they trimmed out the back side as well with your marble, with your Carrera quartz on there. Really gorgeous light sconces, or light pendant, pendant lights <laughs> on there. I like that as well. Got a single basin, large sink, Restaurant style, black faucet, black handles and pulls throughout on here. These are very similar to what I had on my place. And oops, I grab it a little better. I am not grabbing it right. There we go. Soft close on that. Oh, and then this is a dishwasher, guys. I like it how they panel that in so that you, you, know, you don't see the stainless steel. You know, I like stainless steel as much as anybody, but sometimes it's nice to mix it up. Plenty of storage down below. Let's take a look at these. We are nailed in joints and then screwed on faces on these cabinets. We go spinning around. And then check it out. We got the wolf in the house. Six burner wolf grill we have our pot filler really nice we don't see that as much out here i know you guys probably see it more on the mainland i like that they have it here and then we have also you know 
Well, let me come over here first. We have our counter depth refrigerator. This is a GE monogram. Great. And then they paneled it just like the cabinets. Now, if they had done this in stainless steel and we had that in stainless steel and then we had the dishwasher in stainless steel, I'd say let's keep the vent in stainless steel. But because they paneled these two, I like that they paneled this. It would look a little weird to have this as stainless steel on top because, bear with me for a moment, guys, as I spin around. If you're standing here and looking and there's just a big block of stainless steel there, it wouldn't look right. But, but if you had stainless steel here and over here, it would blend in. They don't have it there, so they did this right. Good attention to detail. A lot of people would have skipped that. Really like what they did there. Swinging back around and finishing off over here in the kitchen. Plenty of storage down here. And then we also have our microwave down below. And then a coffee slash bar station over here. There's a few things you could do here. Um, I like it. They have a display, you know, if you want to put up some nice dishes and stuff like that. Oh, that might be something for me to keep an eye on, what I might do there. Okay. I'm going to check out <laughs> this other stuff first before I go to the primary, because I really like the primary. We have our two-car garage. They've epoxy painted the floor. We have a service door outside. We have a drawer, or a slider door over here to our solar hot water heater. And there's also, it looks like a backup on-demand hot water heater there, too. Or maybe the on-demand is for the bedroom. Not really sure. Have to get that information. Now our utility, we have our same cabinets that we had over there in the kitchen. Looks great. Same countertops. Didn't go cheap in here just because it's the utility. Washer and dryer. Lots of storage space in here. Like the work that they did there. We have an extra just storage closet over here. So you can flex this out into whatever you need it to be. You got a lot of options. I like these five panel doors, nice and modern. You guys know I'm a fan of that. And then over here we have our pantry with solid built-in shelving. Convenient because it's right by our kitchen right there. And then we have our powder room over here with the same wood, same quartz countertops. Nice modern toilet. Black fixtures throughout here. There I am, guys, wearing a, uh, I think this is a Ren Spooner. Nice large mirror. It feels really great in here. And I mentioned that we had our AC compressor out there. Uh, you know, you have air conditioning in this house, which is really nice. There are a few days in the summer where you may need it. Uh, this time of year, I don't think it's coming on for another few months. All right, time to get to the primary bedroom. Plenty of space in here, nice ceiling treatment, recessed light, black trim, black ceiling fans, everything that we've been seeing in all the other rooms. We have a aluminum slider door you know you can have aluminum and vinyl both have their advantages and disadvantages uh the advantage for aluminum aluminum in my book is that it's solid every once in a while you'll want to treat it or you know wipe it down make sure you keep it nice and clean so you don't get aluminum oxidization which can happen with the salt air but we're up pretty high here so i don't think the salt air is as big of a problem as it is in lower elevations so they have this staged that's not a real bed. It's an inflatable bed with a queen-ish size bed. Obviously, you can easily fit in a full king. No problem at all. Plenty of space. All right. It's going to get a little bit better and better. So first, we'll stop real quick over here at our closet. Not huge. I would actually say on one of these, one or the other, you, know, you can remove this middle bar. And that way, you have somewhere for the women to hang their longer dresses. Uh, and then maybe switch it to where there's one over there so guys can hang their shirts on that. A little more space. We got some built-in drawers, book matched. You notice how the, how the wood lines up through all the drawers. Really nice attention to detail on that. And then of course we have a bench to sit and put your shoes on, your socks on, and a mirror to check yourself out if you're so inclined. Okay guys, this is the bathroom. I really really like it so first we have this giant mirror so light that's coming in through this huge glass wall that i'm going to feature in a moment behind us reflects off here helps this room stay nice and light we have the large apron here and we mitered the corners at a 45 so that the stone maintains its look 
over the edge, looks really gorgeous. Large drawers, recessed lights down below on that shelf, dual vanities, dual sinks on the vanity. I keep doing that, guys. And I like it that the faucet comes out of the wall, not out of the vanity itself. Really nice job on that. We have three light sockets, so plenty of room for all those accessories. Pocket door here into the bathroom that has a little more storage in our modern toilet once again. And then here's where it really kicks off for me, guys. So large glass, well, that's a glass wall and then a glass door, which I have open right now going out. Our freestanding tub, these are super popular now with our nice high rise faucet. Coming out with our wand, absolutely no threshold whatsoever into the dual shower head shower and look, just look at all the quartz all over the walls, all the way up, just quartzed out. Really awesome. We got a little nook here. Put your shampoo. You got a bench to sit or put your leg on if you need to. Shave your legs. And then our drain over there at the edge. That long flat drain that we have. Just absolutely gorgeous. I love this shower so much. And then if you want, you can walk out the glass door. You can close that for privacy if you want, but I don't really think anyone's gonna see you. <laughs> um, they need a good telescope because they're far away. And you have your outdoor shower here decked out really nicely. Our basalt stone, uh, stone here to make our little nook to put soap and shampoo, plenty of space drain down below, lava rocks, I'm sorry, river rocks and pavers. And a nice high, I mean, this is a really nice looking outdoor shower here, guys. Oh, does it? I think it has a foot sprayer too. All right, I'm gonna risk getting. Oh, it does. Oh, guys. Not a lot of people are building with that attention to detail, guys. I just gotta tell you, I don't see it a lot. I see a lot of houses. Um, straight up, I would buy this house right now if I could. You guys need to buy some more houses from me. Now, here's a plug. I'm a working real estate broker here in Hawaii. I help buyers and sellers every day realize their dreams of living in Hawaii. If this is something, or any of the properties here in Hawaii or something that you're thinking about, let me know. I have contacts on all the other islands. I'm on the big island. We can get you set up. Let's uh, hashtag get Mike a new house. Um, I just did the remodel, but boy, this house is spectacular. Okay, we're coming over to the guest wing now and just more of the same awesomeness. So we got the recessed light underneath, nice apron, just like we had in the primary suite. A lot of times people, when you get to the other side of the house, they start nickel and diamond a little bit. They didn't do that here. They even kept the quartz all the way up to the ceiling here in the shower. Uh, on the guest wing, dual sinks, and again, the fixtures coming out of the wall. Absolutely perfect. So we got two more bedrooms over here. They're just regular bedrooms, queen size bed. You can fit a California king, maybe even a regular king, actually. You can still fit a king size bed in here. And standard closet over here, ceiling fan, recessed lights, tray ceiling, air conditioning, so that's like the least awesome bedroom. We still have this awesome bedroom here. Same setup as we had in the other one. I mean, they didn't skip on any of the bedrooms, guys. Um, you can see right here, we have our black fixtures. You even get some ocean view out here. <sighs> Pretty awesome. So we have the primary, we have two bedrooms here, and we still have another bedroom with an ensuite bathroom here. So call it a junior suite, plenty of storage, single basin on the sink, same apron that we've had before, same lighting, same wood, nice big mirror, nice toilet, zero threshold entry into our shower. Again, black fixtures, 
same Carrera. I mean, guys, they did this one awesome. Plenty of room here for a king size bed. And then access back out, wake up in the morning, sit here with your cup of coffee for your guests while you're on the other side of the house in the primary suite. Pretty, pretty awesome. All right, guys, what do you think? Does this one knock it out of the park or what? Um, time for my three favorite things. And one thing I would change or add if it were mine. Okay, favorite thing number one, I kind of alluded to it. This is like seriously my favorite lot in all of Kona. I'm not lying, if I could buy this, I would, I would not even bring this to you guys. I would just buy it and not tell you guys about it. Um, I would take this for me personally as my forever home, 100%. Um, you're so just well situated with the view. It's just absolutely stunning. I love it. So number one is the location with this lot. I just, you can't beat it. Number two, my second favorite thing, oh, that's not even close. It's gonna be the primary bathroom. I'm gonna walk over there again. The, the whole primary suite is awesome. Um, you know, you got your view out here and that's cool, but this bathroom is it's like a spa, man. Um, guys, people just don't do that much quartz around here. They just don't. And just absolute next level. I like that we have dual heads. I like that we have zero threshold. I like this glass, uh, letting all the light in our freestanding tub, our outdoor shower with a flipping foot washer, guys. Come on. Who's doing that? Unbelievable. That's so awesome. Third favorite thing. I mean, I would guess I would say sort of the overall styling but I mean, just the great room having everything that you need in here with a stunning kitchen. Uh, like I said, this is a modern masterpiece. Those are my three favorite things. I could actually go on and on. What would I change or add? I mean, I mentioned that one thing in the closet in the primary. So that's one thing that's like literally an hour of a handyman's work. Maybe I would switch that to shelving. And for me, I'd like to have a bar set up. So I would probably have some shelving there and some glasses hanging. Um, for sort of uh, entertaining, but that's just me. Not everyone likes to have, you know, a bar in their house. And not that I even use it that much, I just think it looks cool. It's like the possibility of having a great party at any moment, even though at this age we're going to bed pretty early. All right, here's a take of the view. I hope you like this video. I got more for in the corner. I'll see you again real soon.